Hello again, Wargaming Enthusiasts! Let's check out our risky moves and how they paid off, if at all. So, immediately the Panther starts moving back and we lose contact very quickly. Um, and our ISUs are definitely moving up there. But, yeah, they stop before we see them, so no go there. And uh, I guess we haven't kept contact all the way. Well, okay, uh, that's interesting. So the Panther stopped and we're uh, spotting it with the ISU. The Panther doesn't seem to see us though. So let's see our... Oh, uh, yeah. They don't see us. And we see them, and that's a hit. Good job, guys. Okay, so uh, in general terms, I screwed up incredibly here by not having the other ISUs move up. I didn't actually expect this particular turn to be the one where he withdraws the Panther. But uh, I lacked out in the way that the, the Panther didn't spot me. I guess I was hold down. No, they were... Um... Yep. Good shot. Sorry, I'm replaying that over and over again. Um, my opponent or some or some mentioned something about some being unhappy with how spotting works. So I'm also trying to uh, figure out whether he's right or not. But I see how they would they might not be able to spot us immediately because um, they are kind of busy looking there at those woods, and the ISU is just you know cresting the hill and firing. It's too bad we have those woods over there because we would have three guns pointing this direction and that would have been very a very unhappy result for him. Um, well, good job guys. What's your name? Bliznyakov. Bliznyakov, good job. Um, let's also check out our situation with the Marder there uh, while we're at it. We ordered uh, the Marder to be shot at blindly by with the ISU in the forest. Let's turn off the tree um, crowns and let's see what's going on here. Boom! Missed. Okay, but we did injure someone in the martyr, so that's great. That works. Happy with that. Uh, I guess the crew decided to bail out. So the martyr is knocked out. Or at least abandoned. I'm fine with that result. Uh, are we gonna get another shot? Should. What was that? Oh, that was the uh, Panther over there. Okay. Right. Our infantry is uh, laying waste to the to the guys in the bunker, and there's another shot from the ISU. Well, they're accurate. Um, that's our mortar fire. No, yeah, that works. That seems to work. So good job, good job. And you are Mr. Popov. So Mr. Bliznyakov and Mr. Popov did an did a excellent job there, um, f taking out those enemy farm uh, armored fighting vehicles. I'm certainly very happy about that. Um, We've lost con oh we've lost contact here, but that is mostly because we were told we we told the uh, command squad here to take cover, so that we can perform our artillery mission. Um, so hopefully we still know where that I mean so hopefully that uh, martyr tank over there we still have a spot on. It's just that we we can see them. Um, due to us being being hidden, but hopefully they won't move. Um, well, I hear an email coming from my opponent. I, uh, I'm kind of sorry. I mean, 
so the nature of this game is is competitive and um that means that whenever i have something cool happening my opponent's unhappy and uh that kind of sucks because uh you know uh <laughs> we do interact on a day-to-day basis so and uh yeah it's kind of crappy when you have to go like yeah yeah you, your action was really cool i i really liked what you did there it's also totally unfair and you know probably cheating um so I guess we're going to have a dispute about this panther tank and whether spotting works or not. Um, I know people have problems with spotting in this game. Uh, there are some forum threads and stuff like that. But I really think this one was fair and square. At least it wasn't unreasonable for us to... Uh, well, definitely we spotted because we, we see him right there. Um, yeah, let's... Uh, sorry. If we take uh, one of those cameras that do work... Yep. So we see him right there, plain and simple. We see the entire tank all the way, whereas he doesn't really see us. Like, uh, uh, you know what? I won't fiddle with the camera. But uh, like I sh like I was looking at before, we're hold down. Look at the um, angle of our gun right here. Um, we are definitely firing through the crest of the hill. And we were going there with the expectation of fighting, so we were on the hunt command, we had our hatch open, although I guess uh, he did have his hatch open as well. But he's like, plain as day, right here. And, uh, you know, we were hold down, we were behind a, a clump of grass or something, and uh, these guys were busy reversing, and they were still trying to figure out who was plinking at them from the woods there. Um, so I'm not surprised that they didn't see us. I was kind of banking on them being distracted, and although it didn't work out exactly how I wanted to, it's uh, it's not a result that surprised me. I thought we would take casualties, actually, actually, but you know, it would have been possible for us to do this without casualties, and uh, we did not have any casualties, so you know, uh, so so it works. <sighs> Yeah, sorry about that. I'm I'm kind of frustrated that my friend there is <laughs> frustrated with the spotting. Um, hopefully we can, you know, work this out. Um, all right. So what we've got here is a dead martyr, which he was upset about as well, but he didn't know I was shooting blind. So you know, I understand him being upset, but. I obviously didn't think that would work either, but uh, we didn't actually hit the martyr, we just hit a spot next to him, and the crew just bailed, so, you know, that's that's the result I was aiming for, so I'm not surprised there either, although, well, I am surprised, I thought it would take a couple of turns, but, uh, well, a couple of shots, but, you know, one shot definitely did it, and we definitely... Um, achieved a sort of crew kill rather than an actual kill on the tank, on the fighting vehicle. And uh, we cleared out this infantry, uh, this, this forest of infantry as far as we know, so we can start moving up. Um, we are going to have to observe these crews, where they go. Maybe that will give us some intel on where the enemy is heading. And uh, yeah, and we're waiting for uh, our mortars to finish, finish their jobs. Um, guards of Tire Rifle HQ, you guys will continue moving up. Let's try to move you guys up over there and uh, have you guys spot. You guys, let's try to move you guys up here and see if you can see anything. Um, you know what, that battalion HQ probably won't get there by the end of the battle because they're tired, and they're just going to get fatigued, they're going to be useless, and uh, then spotting takes six minutes, so I guess they won't make it. Um, Alright, over here we still won't be moving up. We will continue our barrage. We will also move the other tank forward, but we will do it in a peculiar fashion by first reversing and then going on hunt around here, I think. Uh, well, let's see now. Actually, quite. I'm quite cheered up myself by the uh, 
just interesting stuff happening in the battle, to be honest. I was getting really, really bored and really frustrated because every turn I seem to be doing a lot of work, a lot of this fiddling about, and nothing happens. <laughs> and that pisses me off. And um, I'm not a very patient person at all. And uh, just this constant fiddling about to no effect whatsoever is terribly annoying to me. Um, we're going to reverse these guys back, just in case there's something nasty waiting for us there. We're going to try and move up the mortar battery HQ. We're going to move up these guys. Uh, you can't move through there because that's a marsh. All right, fair enough. I didn't even notice that's a marsh. Uh, well, good thing we are not moving tanks through there, although I, th uh, yeah, I think we checked last turn and we can't anyway. So let's move you guys up. Let's move you guys up. Let's move you guys up. Let's move you guys a little further. Um, slightly f more further than that. There we go. You guys also take this direction. Um, this platoon also can start moving up. Because I don't think there's that much left over there in that clump of woods. So we can start preparing an assault for real this time. Um, yeah, so you, you have line of sight on these guys. So let's change your uh, firing to these. You can't see anything at all whatsoever. Let's have you shoot nevertheless. It's not much HE at all, that's just eight eight more shots from him, so we've we've gonna be careful about how we use them. Alright. This guy. Let's try moving him up here, see if we can survive that experience. And so will you guys. This is our uh, battered platoon, so we can sort of since they're smaller units, maybe we can use them as more effective scouts than uh, big units are. And we're going to keep the, keep the guys in the back as an assaulting force. You are not deployed, that's fine. You will be moving up as well. You... Oh! Yeah, you're, you're firing over there, that's great. So you are the guys who are actually taking out this bunker and, and things like that. Okay, I'm, I'm all for that. The uh, flag gun seems to be abandoned, so that's good too. The uh, mortar fire seems to be accurate for once, so that works. Um, and yeah, we're waiting for uh, this mortar fire to commence, which will be delivered in about three minutes, so I imagine give it an extra two minutes because our mortars are weird. So that should be 7-2, uh, which probably means we won't make it. Um, uh, well, you know. Then again, we do have some assets here. Um, some ISUs that hopefully won't be necessary here. We, we probably don't need all five of them to take this square. So if things look up here, uh, like we scout this, this bit out and see that nothing's going on, we can try um, redeploying and maybe putting a, a couple of ISUs on, on these targets here, trying to find an angle where we can do the same thing to that martyr that we did to the other martyr. Uh, hopefully that will work. work. All right. Um, so that's my turn. Uh, it's a bit slapdash on the movement, but uh, the tanks are at least firing, so interesting stuff's happening. Um, yeah, hope you guys like this one. I'm off to argue with Mirek. Goodbye.